That's so funny. Okay, but also what the heck was your training routine? Because you said in an interview that you immediately, or on your Instagram, you said you immediately started training the second you found yeah, out. Yeah, so part. like we talked about before when I got here. So basically, I, I got this role through my Instagram. So I kept Nancy Nair, um, I was like, I had the accident, my dad passed away, and then I was wanting to get back into acting, but just not knowing if I really wanted to. My dad was a big supporter. He's the reason I even started in any of this, really. He like took me to my first like modeling shoot and stuff. It's it so really cute. cute, yeah. And when I got this uh, audition, I was going through it with like my agents, and like I hadn't worked in a while, and I just didn't feel like they believed in me. And it wasn't like, you know, a real tight camaraderie and you need that with a team. So then I had, we ended up leaving. I, I left them and I was trying to find new representation. I went to three different agencies. All of them weren't interested. And I knew what I was capable of. Right. And they didn't even take the time to figure out what was going on in my personal life to understand why I wasn't working. They probably just saw it on paper like, oh, he did let us know. He hasn't right. worked. And this is, you know, he, he just, he's at a dead end. And uh, one agency, which I'm with now, Gersh, took the time to speak with me. But right before that, Nancy Nair sent me an email on my Instagram and was like, hey, I have this role for you. I really like you and I've been following you for a while and I'd like you to audition for it. And I, it was perfect addiction. And I read it and I was like, I'm booking this. Yeah, and it wasn't that I didn't, like, I, I immediately fell in love with it because it was like, I get to play a UFC fighter. So yeah. all of my athletic background, I get to instill into acting. And the other thing was just vengeance. Like I was <laughs> yeah, on a like that's mine. full revenge path yeah, to like revenge show people <laughs> what I was capable of. Um, so I auditioned for it, got a call back, went to a director session and told the same story to Castile and she was like, dude, you're perfect. Like everything yeah. you're going through is what I see for Jax and it just ended up really working out. So um, that was my audition process and it was absolutely awesome. And you got to like fight in there so like you can train and let all your anger out and be like. Yeah, like the, the training process, um, once I found out, I just immediately started training. Like before yeah. the movie even gave me, I got a boxing coach. Um, I started working on, you know, different things in martial arts and going to watch UFC fights and all this stuff to prepare for the role. Um, Conor McGregor was kind of the inspiration. They told me that they wanted me to, to embody McGregor. So. You said down. I watched down. his all, all of his interviews, <laughs> I watched all his fights, his yeah. mannerisms, and I kind of like took what I could from him and instilled it in myself. So you're good at your homework? Yeah, I did a ton of homework. Yeah. Because I really not, like after I got the role, I was relieved because I was like, you know what? I have the opportunity to show all these people who didn't believe in me that I am capable. Um, but then it was like, okay, now you got a new weight on your shoulders. So you got to show them that you're actually good. Yeah. So um, I trained hard every day, twice a day. I didn't get to see my family. I was driving an hour and 30 minutes to El Segundo to train for two hours and driving an hour and 30 minutes back, which was basically a full day. Yeah. I was doing that three, four times a week. Um, and we did that for three months straight. We did That's four nice. different fight scene choreos. Uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun, but very taxing on the body. So I went through, oh I had tons of physical rehab. I was spending a bunch of money on like. You're like a fighter, like you're literally fighting. I felt, well, that's how I kind of took it. I was training as if I had a fight coming up, which I didn't, which I kind of wanted to. I even asked, <laughs> I asked a few times if me and Ross could just scrap and they wouldn't let it happen. <laughs> no. You know? Immediately, no. Yeah. But did you get to meet or like hang out with him at all in between while you were training? We trained together. So okay. the first, I'd say a couple of months before the movie actually kicked in with their training, I did everything on my own. Yeah. And then when we met, we met at training in El Segundo with the same coach and we gotcha. worked with him for like three months yeah. leading up to it. And then once we got to Poland to shoot, um, we trained there for another two weeks with a ton of people over there different stunt doubles. Um, Definitely probably different than America. Yeah, my, my stunt double was actually the number six fighter in Poland. That's he was like nuts. an MMA fighter, which was great. I got to see where he grew up. I went to his houses, like he was like heating his house with wood. And That's yeah, insane. It, was, it was pretty dope, it was really cool. <laughs> That's he lived sick. in a mountain, he was a mountain, mountain of man. Of course he was. Yeah, he was a mountain of man. He was. he was the real Polish guy. <laughs> he called me and we actually became really good friends and he says he's my shadow. Oh he goes, God. I am your shadow, brother. I am your shadow. He was like, like, yeah. All right. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's so funny.